I really like the story that we find our next boat in San Francisco. If we were gonna do it, man, you would get on it right away. All right, this is exciting, you guys. We're gonna bring you along. We're calling and he's willing to maybe make a deal. You gotta figure out when he can come back and do a test sail. Survey. Oh, Cheers. Never. There you go. Mm, that is so good. This is why you come to the Oregon coast. We are literally following the Sasquatch down the road. Uh, you just will not find anything more interesting and dynamic. It, it makes me happy to be alive. Winter is coming. Uh, kind of looks like winter's already here, doesn't it? I mean, it is August. Uh, we're not delayed much in terms of the real-time videos. We're just wimpy. Uh, a lot of feedback. Yes. A lot of feedback on the Uchimer 55 Lite that we put an offer on last week. Thank you so much for taking the time to weigh in on this important decision and share your feedback. Don't you hate it when YouTube channels draw things out? We didn't make a deal <laughs> on the Uchimer 55 Lite. We'll talk about why here just in a second. But first of all, let's talk about the feedback there were two camps right yeah first camp was like you guys are awesome go for it this is gonna be a great boat for you yeah this is a very capable design with mm -hmm. a proven track record and you guys can bring your touch to make it the kind of boat that you need it to be uh that was the that was the positives go for it oh kelly's this is gonna work for you and there was absolutely positively another camp that said Boo! <laughs> this is not a good boat for these reasons. Right, it's a money pit and it's too small for Nick. You're not gonna be sailing that fast anyway. You know, some of these are, are really good points, don't you think? Yeah. It was gonna be well over $100,000 to bring it up to ocean standards. And uh, no doubt about it, it would be a huge project. I guess where we kind of find fault with that reasoning is this is not our first rodeo. Uh, we know how to break things down and I think have a pretty good idea of what things cost. Yeah, and we estimated that it would take us about six months of working really hard and fast. The benefit we saw to this situation is that we could come in and add a bunch of new gear and dial it in exactly the way we like it. Yeah, it's gonna take a while and a lot of money, but at the end of that process, we would end up with what we really think we want. I think another reason we were considering this model is because it really wasn't going to be a huge financial stretch for us, which would take a lot of pressure off and give us other options. Yes, there would be sacrifices, but this boat would do what we wanted it to do and keep us within budget. Hey, now don't you regret selling Clarity? I mean, you dialed her in over five years. She was perfect. If I'm perfectly honest with you, there have been a couple times where I was like, gosh, what did we get ourselves into? We did have a great boat, but with our new goal of sailing around the world, we really were looking for something more performance oriented than clarity. And people think performance is only about speed. It's actually about comfort at sea. Comfort at sea and also light air performance. We actually aren't speed demons, but we do want to motor less. If there was one big failing with Clarity, our Leopard 46, was that in very light winds, she actually didn't sail all that well. So that was one of our performance goals with the next boat, a boat that could sail well in light winds. Getting a performance designed boat also means that you're gonna be able to slice through those choppy waves, making for a more comfortable ride and a faster ride. Yeah, so it's not just about going fast, it's about going fast while being comfortable. We especially love and appreciate the comments where people say, hey, just get a Balance 526. I mean, didn't you see the one that just came up on the market for 1.5 million, hole number one? Fabulous boats, nothing against them at all. 
But the price tags on these mm -hmm. these fantastic new machines are just way out of our league. Yes, it is worth noting that Balance and Utremer have approached us and said, hey, listen, we'll get you into a new boat for free, okay? <laughs> we just have to wait two to three years. <laughs> so there's two problems with that. The one is, it's not true. Yeah, she's totally joking. <laughs> Um, I, and I think I've seen this as in terms of comments and criticisms about other YouTube channels that have purchased very fancy new boats. And I think there's a perception out there that the builders of these boats are giving the YouTubers the boat. And that just, that's not true. We know because we've spoken to the people in charge of these companies mm -hmm. and the margins on boat, boats being built it's, the margins aren't that big. So think about it. You're a business owner and are you really going to allocate $2 million in marketing and tie up one of your build slots, one of maybe two or three per year? It just isn't going to happen. Uh, so that's just not a realistic expectation for us, even if they were so motivated to get into business with the O'Kellys. Well, and the other huge consideration is that we cannot wait two or three years. Never like, would. Literally. Never would <laughs> work. Impatient. Yeah. So we're still out here, we're looking for that perfect compromise, and we have a good feeling we're gonna find it soon. Yes, we'll find it soon because the deal on this past Utremer 55 was a no-go. Uh, we don't need to get into all the specifics, but they just weren't that motivated to mm -hmm. sell. So it wasn't even a matter of whether we made them an offer that was acceptable or not. I think it's more that they wanna hang on to the boat for the long term. Yep, and we knew that was a possibility going in. If you really want to know the up-to-date, behind-the-scenes information, now is a great time to join our Patreon group. This is a roller coaster ride, but our patrons get to go through it with us <laughs> step by step and uh, get filled in on all the details. So if you'd like to join up, that's one of the benefits of being a patron of the O'Kellys. Yes, the Zoom calls we're doing are awesome. Well, there's this old matrix in the boat sales game, which is, you know, you can have what you want, or you can have it where you want, or you can have it for how much you want to pay. And at some point, we're looking around at the market and realizing that we can't get what we want, which is a performance boat in decent condition mm -hmm. for the budget that we have set so far. So we have decided, yeah, we're willing to leverage up if need be. We actually do have some developments on that front. We're calling and he's willing to maybe make a deal. But we find ourselves kind of in a sticky situation where, you know, we want to tell you what's going on, but we just don't have all the details yet. Yeah. And, um, you know, so it needed a good bottom job and it needed uh, to replace all of the wiring in the mast. Out here on the Rockaway Beach, uh, sunrise should take place shortly. I don't think, well, I'm not gonna see any of it because it's gray. Uh, up early, out of my mind. Yeah, we're, we're, it's a dream boat for us. And we've come to kind of a rough agreement on a number. It's stretching us financially. That's something we're willing to do because we believe in the design, we believe in the boat, it's something we want to be a part of. Maybe a great move for the channel. We'll learn more, we'll be able to pass along more to uh, everybody else out there. But what's become clear, there, there really haven't been any upgrades. So for example, like the, the water maker is, is the kind of water maker we had on low pressure two boats ago. It makes 3.4 gallons per hour. That's just, you know, that's just not, that's just not gonna cut it for us. And then you get into powering a new water maker and you got to think about the battery and the solar. And it kind of goes on and on and on. It's just that it's a good boat, it's a fantastic boat. There's money to be spent on this boat and not just a little. I know enough about this game to know that it's not going to be, you know, 10 grand. So maybe it's a good exercise to see what resources we've got available to us and what we can make happen. Anyway, I'm just out here, speaking my mind out in the gray cool at Rockaway Beach, Oregon.
amazing family beach house to hang out with and spend time with our moms. Yeah, it's always great spending time with Ma. Doing not much of anything but hanging out, eating, playing a few games, and sitting by the fire. That is definitely not time wasted. No. So we're making the best of the opportunity that we've got sitting around a bit. Hanging out with both of our moms at the same time. Celebrating my mom's birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thanks as always. Special thanks to the patrons. We really appreciate your support. You are making this happen for all of us. Absolutely. So. And it's great to see you on, well, an almost weekly basis. These Zoom calls have been fantastic. Yes, we love it. We'd love it if you would join up to the Patreon crew and, and help support this endeavor. We're all learning together. There's a lot of hubbub going on about Annapolis, October 2022. The Big Boat Show. We were there last year and we had a great time. Uh, question mark, really a question mark for us as to whether or not we're going to attend. Because if we get this boat that we're working on, well, we're going to be working on the boat. And probably not at the show. Otherwise, we'd love to join you. And that's a question. Are you guys headed to the boat show? Leave a comment below about anything you want. We love to hear from you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.